Welcome to election time, where we literally count down to the November 1st local government elections. Today, we feature Maludi Apofung local municipality, which has been under administration since 2018. For years, members of this community have been complaining about poor service delivery. Mandla Chabalala, who is the MMC of Rural Development, and Maludi Apofung, EFF Regional Chairperson Victor Moluelwe, Jafta Mukwena from the Democratic Alliance in Maludi Apofung, and and leader of the Guangueta Party of South Africa, which is Paula Lebisa, uh, join us uh, to talk more on their plans uh, this, for this particular community. Good evening to you, gentlemen, and thank you so much for your time this evening. I am going to begin with laying some ground rules. I will give you two minutes each to tell the viewers why the people of Malutia Pufung should vote you into power. And once your two minutes is up, I will come in, interrupt you, go to the next speaker. And then after that, we're going to uh, then uh, talk about some of the issues and your plans to be able to resolve some of the issues that are faced by this community. And towards the end of our conversation, I'll give you a minute each to give your closing remarks, and that will mark the end of our conversation. I'll begin with you, uh, Jafta. For you, good evening tonight. Uh, your two minutes begin now. Why should they vote for you? Uh, good, good evening, and good evening to the people of Tabomofu Zanyana. The reason why uh, the people of South Africa should vote for the DA on the 1st of November 2021 is because of what we will offer. You see, the COVID-19 pandemic has exposed years of poor ANC governance, resulting in economic crisis, joblessness, poor basic service delivery, and rampant corruption. Now, the DA has this to offer to our people of South Africa, and to our in particular. Um, World-class services, uh, good governance, accountability, economic uh, development. And uh, I'm saying this because where the DA is in governance, it has a proven track record of and experience of delivery, and it's a, it's a government that our people in Tawumfutsanyan and Maludia Pofu deserve. That's why we are saying as Democratic Alliance, the time to change the bad conditions under which our people live in this <coughs> municipality and district has arrived, has arrived. We must just have trust in the DA and that the DA will deliver, because DA is the only party that does not talk about promises only. It's a party that says we have done it somewhere. We can do it here again. So we are saying, give us your vote on the on the first of November, so that you can uh, the people of this <coughs> municipality and the district can leave. A lift experience Your two somewhere. minutes is they up, Ndate Mokwena. Thank you very much. Let's move to the EFF. Ndate Moluelwe, your opening remarks. Your two minutes starts now. Thank you very much, uh, Presenter, and greetings to your listeners. Look, the EFF in Maluta Pufung has demonstrated on a number of occasions that it is willing to, you know, fight for the poor people, the poor, the poorest. It has demonstrated over the period of years since 2016 that the EFF is clear in Maluti Apofung and is going to restore the dignity of black people. The EFF has made a commitment that is going to abolish tenders in Maluti Apofung because we have realized that in Maluti Apofung, tenders are a root cause of, of, of corruption. That is why Maluti Apofung under the ANC government is in a permanent state of corruption. So as the EFF, we have committed ourselves that we are going to ensure securities, we are going to ensure that our councillors, who are credible men and women who are incorruptible, are going to work for people of Malutia Pofum for 24 hours. As the economic freedom fighters, we have committed ourselves that we are going to sort out the mess of water and ensure that electricity goes 100% to ESCO. So as the economic, uh, economic freedom fighters in Malutia Pofum, we are committing ourselves that we are going to restore the dignity of an African child because the ANC Malutapofu has failed dismally 
to restore the dignity of our people. In fact, the ANC has been very arrogant to the people of Maluti. So the only alternative to the people of Maluti are proving the economic freedom fighters. Through its uh, seven negotiable pillars, the EFF is going to give people of the Great Tyre Smith land, people of Castell and Kwakwa land without compensation. All right. I wonder if we do have Ndate Libisa still with us. All right. We seem to have lost him. Let's go then to you, Ndate Chabalan. Your two minutes starts now. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, from ANC point of view, whilst much needs to be done, many, our, many of our people's lives have changed for the better over the past 25 years. We can identify millions who have houses, electricity, access to clean drinking water, children from poor communities that have access to free education, vulnerable citizens who receive social grants, as well as an advance on the cost and rights of our workers. Our term of focus in local government is a mixture of good and uh, unsuccessful stories, both of, of which are valuable lessons that are already greatly assisting on how uh, to better prepare for the next term of local government. In Maluta Pofu, as we are in government over there, uh, currently we are, at, we are faced with many challenges. Despite that, we've got uh, other advances that we are making with regard to uh, the sewer reticulation in our area, building of VIP toilets, uh, electrification of some areas like uh, KBC, uh, Tiami, Skomplas, and so forth. And we've got projects of cabling that we are busy with. And over and above that, as the municipality, we have bought some yellow fleet to see to, see to it that we improve uh, our services to the people. Therefore, we are asking our community to vote for ANC uh, because ANC, it has uh, uh, demonstrated through our candidate selection process, which allows not just our card carrying members to select uh, their preferred councillor candidate. So that shows that anyway, we are not just looking upon ourselves or dictating to our communities, but we are saying that ANC belongs to you. Come forth and select whoever that you think that will better service you under the banner, uh, the banner of African National Congress. So therefore, we are looking forward to all communities coming forth to also come and assist us in making sure that your two improve. minutes is up unfortunately Ndate Chabalala, let's then move to this Thank conversation you. i don't think we have uh, Ndate Levisa back just as yet but when he comes back to join this conversation we'll ask him then for his opening remarks let's get into the meat of this particular conversation i'll begin with you uh, Ndate Mokwena from the democratic alliance you say that the democratic alliance has a proven track record of delivery Let's use the Western Cape as an example, Cape Town. It depends where you are when you can talk about services that are delivered. When you are in uh, Kailicha and other areas, you talk about um, sewage on the streets, you talk about um, some of the, in fact, holes that are open there that could, you know, really be a hazard to children. You then go to another part of the western cape which is the more affluent suburbs then you can talk about things that are working is that a track record to be proud of let me start by saying that you see there is very little that um the people of our country can fault da about a a sewers a spillage at a point does not give a hundred percent a picture of what that government of the DA in Western Cape is all about. It might be that uh, on the said day there was a, a, a pipeline, a sewer pipeline that was block, blocked, and uh, response teams were, were, were going to do to deal with that. Unfortunately, when you talk uh, about pardon me, that Mukana so I can give you a full picture. Unfortunately, the response yeah. teams were not dispatched. It took. Uh, over a week, and it even took the media, it even took the Minister of uh, Water and Sanitation to also go and attend to some of these problems there. The one I'm speaking about right now was even 
uh, there for over a week in side B. There was even one where a child uh, unfortunately died. So that community was complaining that this has been going on for quite some time and they had been reporting it. That is not a good track record, though. Uh, you know, we, we know, we'll normally say that uh, one bad experience, a 10% of not being good does not necessarily negate the 90% the of good things that you do. When you talk about the incident where a, a, a child passed on, it is very regrettable. And what was the cause of that? It was caused because it was caused by uh, people digging sand around that particular area next to the road. It was reg regrettable, and um, fortunately, the DA dealt with that particular matter. It has been dealt with and closed. Now, like I said, even if we can take Kayelisha with all its challenges, can we pre can we? Uh, compare it to any other municipality in this country run by the, uh, by the ANC and see whether the, the, the mishaps in that particular area are worse than where the, the ANC is, 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 is in government. Basically not. You see, the, the world uh, information that we get is that in this country, the best run uh, metro is in the Western Cape, is Western Cape. So, we are not saying that our track record is 100%. It has no uh, challenges here and there. We accept and we accede to that. We can do more in those particular areas. Mm. But all we are saying is an overall uh, a performance record in this country is within the DA. And no other party can come to close to what we, we are servicing our people with. All right, I'm going to pause there for a second as we go for a quick breather. When we come back, we then look deeper into what plans have been put in place to try and attend to some of the concerns of the residents. And also, I do understand that Ndate Mwekezi Paula Lebesa is now joining us on the line and would like to get his opening remarks on the other side of this. Let's continue then zooming in closer to the Maludi Apufung municipality. Ndate Lebesa, I do understand we lost you while the other members of their respective political parties were making their opening remarks. I'll give you your two minutes now. Yeah, thank you very much. I apologize for poor connection. It is what we are subjected to in Maludi Apufung on a daily basis because of unreliable electricity supply. Malutia Pofum is a very beautiful uh, place entrenched in the picturesque and majestic Dragonback Maluti Mountain. It was once hailed as the little Switzerland of South Africa, but today it is no more. Harris Mate, which has the busiest road network in Africa, was once hailed as the jewel of the free state, but today it is no more. Malutia Pofum today is a battleground of contending dooms. Unreliable electricity supply, lack of water, dirty water, poverty, hunger, corruption, crime, joblessness, squatting, social breakdown, and disintegrating roads. The Guanguita Party of South Africa is making a clarion call to the people of South Africa to vote for us. If the people of South Africa vote us, we will, the first thing that we will do is to bring a clean and efficient local government administration by introducing four C's. The first C is to hire competent labor force. Two is to make sure that we comply with all legislations. Three, we will make sure that corruption is stamped out rule. Four, consequence management. Anyone or the municipal manager, if he gets disclaimer, there will be consequence management. We have a problem of electricity here. Because the party of South Africa is the only party which has tried and tested track record. We have the master plan of uh, the electricity in Kwaka because we are the former ruling party here. 
We will fix electricity. Unfortunately, your time is up. Ndate Lebesa will continue then and come back to you as we talk about this particular municipality. I'd like to come to you, um, Bab Chabalala, because one of the things that has been very clear is the fact that there's been quite a lot of mismanagement going on here. There's, been, there's I mean, an, an owing of Eskom of billions of rands, more than five billion rand. There's issues around the supply of water in that particular uh, municipality. There's also an issue around jobs. What plans, tangible plans, is the ANC putting in place to ensure that it deals with these particular problems? Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, as an ANC government, led government, with regards to ESCOM, we have been uh, engaged in negotiations with ESCOM with regards to ESCOM handling uh, the electricity supply in the municipality. As we have correctly uh, uh, alluded to the fact that we are owing ESCOM a lot of money. And that money that we are owing is because of uh, uh, people who are not buying electricity instead stealing the electricity from, from the municipality. So we are in that process to, to, an, uh, to an extent whereby uh, the P deputy president was also uh, engaged in that. He came to Maldapofung on two occasions whereby he was uh, actually uh, assisting the negotiations between uh, the municipality and ESCOM to come to an agreement with regard to uh, handing over the, uh, the electricity supply to ESCOM. So the negotiations are still continuing on, on, on those basis. Uh, with regard to water supply, uh, as you may recall that uh, last year, if not a year before last, we had a, uh, we had drought in, in, in the municipality, whereby we've got three dams, uh, big dams in, in Maruta Popung, that is uh, Mezimatu, is uh, Serfontein, and and uh, Fikapatsu. Fikapatsu is supplying almost 85% 80, of the community of uh, of Kwakwa of, of in particular. And uh, Mesimatsu is supplying 15%. And at that particular uh, moment, Fikapatsu dried, dried up, which uh, created a problem for the municipality to, say, to supply the community with water because it is taking care of 85%. Ndata of Chavalala, unfortunately, yes. when, when I have to come in there because one of the things that we've been seeing, I, I'll get you, I'll give you a chance just now um, uh, for, for you to come in there. One of the things that has been very clear is that this is not a problem that was created by the drought. This is a problem that has been in existence for quite some time, even before then. And it doesn't look like there's a plan that is in place, Ndata Chavalala, to be able to address this. Ma'am, the, 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 pl the plan is in place. I, I don't un really don't uh, agree with you to say that uh, the, the problem uh, existed, existed even before the drought. Yes, there were some households which were not getting water by, by then. But up to this moment, as I'm speaking to you, about 70% of the community of Malita Popung is getting, is, is getting water. Yes, there are other areas where there are still challenges of the community. Uh, community that is not getting water from the taps All right. and we are making an effort to make sure I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a chance just now that Televisa uh, continue that Chabalala, please just very briefly yes I was saying that even though some of the community members are still not yet getting water through taps but we are making sure that there are drugs that are delivering water to those areas okay. on, on, on a daily basis. Let's pause there for a second. Before I come to you, Ndate Lebisa, uh, Victor, do you believe what is being said here? You're shaking your head. No, it is quite disturbing, and it's a shame that uh, the deploy from the NC is misleading the people of Maluta Pufu and the entire nation. From 2016, we have been experiencing the problem of water and electricity in Maluta Pufu. So it's quite disturbing that the ANC has a bravery to even mislead the people of Maluta Pufu. You go to Castel now. Those people of Maluta Pufu in Castel do not have water till today because of incompetence of the ANC. Two, we know it is a public knowledge that some of the deploys of the ANC are benefiting through venting stations, even if we have advised them in council to say we want to take electricity 100% to ESCOM, they refuse because they are arrogant too. We know ANC councillors, they also benefit through this tender uh, system of, of, of JoJo systems. 
it is a public knowledge that kids died. Many young kids died in Kwako trying to go and drink water with livestock. So it is quite disturbing that the ANC has the audacity to come and lie to the people of South Africa as well as the people of Malutia Pofu. Mm -hmm. The ANC must concede that it is corrupt to the core in Malutia Pofu and it has deployed incompetent people who are not willing to serve the interest of people of Malutia Pofu. Yes, it is laughable and reprehensible that the leader of uh, Mr. Chabalala's caliber can and mislead the whole country. Let's come to the issue of drought. We never had a drought in Kwakwa. We only had corruption and mismanagement. We have three dams in Kwakwa. Storage Fontaine is the third largest dam in the country with storage capacity of 1.9 billion cubic meters. It is always between 90 and 100% full. Metimax is always 80 to 90% full. Peter Patras, as I'm speaking to you, is 80% full. People still do not get water. Those who are likely to get water are getting dirty water. The credibility level of that water we are getting right now is 8, 150 NTU, while the normal credibility level of water should be 0 0.03 NTU. We are, we are drinking dirty water in Japan. He's telling us about the deputy president who visited Kwakwa mm. to come up with the solution. That guy has not come up with, with any solution. Every time he will come to Kwakwa, we will always see his helicopter hovering over the heads of poor people in Kwakwa. He will spend, he will, he will, he will arrive late, spend two hours telling us that this old copter cannot fly during the night. He cannot, he, he has he never helped Malutia Pofu. If he says people are not buying the ticket, it shows that we have a useless leadership in Malutia Pofu that does not have. Uh, political will to govern. They do not have political will to govern. That the government mean? cannot say people are not buying electricity. Mm. What are you doing? Why is 90% of the people are not buying electricity? We must surrender government to competent people. People of Malutia Pofu will buy electricity, will fix the electricity problem, will fix water problem. Let mm. the ANC okay. be voted out in Malutia Pofu. Mm. I'm I'd, I'd like to bring in Dade Mokwena here because uh, one of the things that is becoming very clear is that there doesn't appear to be a plan to resolve this water issue. Yes. Um, I, I want to start by saying that the, 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 the collapse of services in Maluja Pofu are by design. They are all man-made so that corrupt officials and, 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 and uh, politicians can benefit from the situation. Before we, we even can talk about uh, a drought in Kwako, which was not there, as Democratic Alliance, we did an oversight in, in, of water supply in Maluja Pofu. And we went back and uh, engaged our councillors in Maluja Pofu. We went even further to engage the district to say, there is trouble looming in this municipality, in this district, to say, what plan is there that we can uh, uh, have on, on, in place to fight to stop day zero? You see, if people can have on, 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 on this city bravery to come up and say 70 people of water in Kwakwa are having water, only 30%. The 30% is how many households? Now we are saying as Democratic Alliance, we do have uh, the experience, we do have the will and the capability to rescue Maluja Pofu. You see, in Maluja Pofu, all these tricks that these people are playing, they brought in administrators there, which were useless, which came there and, and lined their pockets, not assisting the people of Maluja Pofu. All right. Now we are saying, with electricity, People who are selling the vendors there, people who are selling electricity there, are not willing to give up because that's where they make their money. I'd like to. Illegally. So, I'd last, like thing, to, okay, last thing I sure, want to say sure. is that the, the, the councillors of the African National Congress there are refusing to sign an agreement that is lying in council to say, let's give over electrical supply to ESCOM so that we can, the people of this municipality can, can have electricity. So it is, it is misinforming our people to say that uh, they've got a plan to, to assist.
where okay. DA governs, we are bringing about possible solutions. We are engaging private electricity right. suppliers Ntate to Bukwena. compete with ESCOM so that to bring this electricity thing down. Ntate Bukwena, Thank I'll you. give you a minute then to, to, to wrap in just a moment. I'd like to bring in Mr. Shabalala. Your counterparts are not, are not sounding convinced that there's a plan here, especially the EFF. When I'm listening to Ntate Mulwelwe, it, it looks like the, the, the ANC in, in, in Malutia Pufong does not even know where to begin. And now there's issues of corruption, these allegations around these Jojo tanks that you're saying you're providing. Ma'am, uh, what my colleagues over there, the panelists are saying, uh, they, they are not honest to, to, to the public. They are not honest because we've got the uh, law agencies whereby corruption can be, can be reported. We have always been saying that anyway, if there's anyone who's got a proof or evidence of, uh, of corruption, they must come forth and report it, not only to us, but to the hawks. We've got even hawks who are waiting in our municipality because of uh, the uh, in reports that we have submitted of the corruption that we have identified, mm. not through the opposition, All but right. through ANC to say that there's corruption here and this must be taken forth to, I mean, for, for investigation. It is through us, the ANC. So therefore, we are appealing to them. If they are honest to the municipality, they are honest to the community of Maluta Kofu to read corruption. Let them support us and bring forth the evidence rather than just making noise on, on, on television. With oh. regard to uh, to w w with regard to, to to water, it was all over on television. Media went to uh, to Fikapatu to take pictures there of a dry dam. When today they are saying that they, I mean there was never uh, there was never drought, of which they know. Even uh, just a second, I mean, just a second, that television. Just dam a several second. times, he went to the dam several times to witness for himself that anyway that dam was empty. And I initially said that that dam is sub supplying or is feeding 85% of the community. All right. Of the, of, that is of if the dam is dry, which 85% which depends mm. upon, then what do you call that? All right. That so is they Shabalala. don't have to come on media and lie. Yes. Unfortunately, we, we, we're really out of time. I'm going to give you 30 seconds each uh, for your closing remarks because... It does look like there's a lot of plans and that need to be put in place because while this bickering continues, the people of Malutia Pufung, some of them don't even have access to running water and others don't even have access to electricity. So I'll begin with you, uh, Mr. Shabalala, in 30 seconds, your closing remarks. As African National Congress, we've got a plan to address the issue of water. We were having a meeting with the minister of water and sanitation last week, that is Mr. Uh, Minister Senzom Kun, with regard to uh, the, uh, the issue of water supply and the sanitation, whereby we place the, the plan on the table that is going to cost the municipality 2.4 billion rent. To say that we have got a plan, minister come forth and assist us. So we are saying to the community of Malita Popu, we are working. We are not just sitting. We are working. There's a progress. They can see the good that ANC has done during these difficult times. Yes, we agree. We, we know Your the, 30 seconds is up. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ndate Chabalala. Your 30 seconds is up. Ndate Mokwena, 30 seconds. Thank you very much. People of Manu Diapofung and, and Tawangfutsang and District in, as, as a whole, please vote for DA because DA has a track record. DA gets things done. We will fix this, uh, the sewage spillages that are happening all over. The river, the waters that leave Kwakwa are contaminated with feces. That we can stop. We will rectify the faulty supply of electricity in that municipality. We have the will and the capability. The factories in, 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 Tabom, in, 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 in Maruta Pofu are lying there, not being used, because no investor can come there. Time up. When there's no Mukwena, thank you so much for that. Uh, Mr. Libesa, your 30 seconds starts now. Yes, I want to stress and tell the whole country that the three dams in Kwakwa currently are 80 percent, over 80 percent full, but people still do not get water because of the Jojo premiers. We are saying to the people of Manuja Kofu, vote for the Kwakweta Party of South Africa. We have proven, proven track record. We built 600 schools in Kwakwa, three, one university.
three colleges, three dens in Kwakwa, within a period of five years. We have now a practical and cost-effective alternative to the problems facing the people of Kwakwa. Uh, unfortunately, time up. Ndate Lebesa, Ndate uh, Molelo, you have the final say here. Your 30 seconds starts now. Thanks once again. It is a public knowledge that Malutia Pofun, after the 1st of November, is going to be taken over by the economic freedom fighters. We have removed a mayor who was highly corrupt in 2016. We have put a motion of no confidence to the ANC and we are saying to the people of Maluta Pofung, we are the only organization that will restore their own dignity. We are the only alternative to the people of Maluta Pofung. We are dealing with science. People of the ANC are incompetent. They lack capacity. They will never serve the people of the uh, Maluta Pofung. So it's important that our people in Maluta Pofung, they must go out there in numbers and vote out of the ANC see from political power they are corrupt to their core they must vote for the economic freedom fighters thank you very much Ndate Mulelwe. i appreciate that uh, thank you to you all for your time this evening we'll definitely be watching to see how it all happens and unfolds and which it with which side it goes to here in this particular municipality that was Mandla Chabalala who's the MMC of rural development in Maludia Pofung AFF regional chairperson Victor Moluelo Jafta Mukwena from the DA in Maludia Pofung and the leader of the Kwangweta party of South Africa Mikezi Paula Levis